you're sort of well used to, uh, like you'd set your stall out very early in your career in terms of knocking on managers' doors and going, here, listen, I want to be in the team. Like you did it with Fergie. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. What's the... Yeah. We want, we want to hear about this. What was the... What happens there? No, it was... Um, so... It was... Yeah, so I went over at United when I was 16 and... Um, there was a couple of clubs interested, is there? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I went on loan to Brighton when I was 19, 20 and I ended up getting player of the year and I played over 40 games and I felt as if I, you know, I was, you know, I was going back to United and I, I wanted mm. a chance just, just to train with the first team and mm. stuff and, um, and I knew in the back of my mind that I looked at previous players at United um, in the reserves and they'd gone out on loan and then they'd come back mm. and then they'd stayed in the reserves for like a year and they'd just gone stale and they just sort of took right. a backward step where in my head was that I'm going out on loan and I'm going to keep going I don't want to take a step or back and go back to the reserves because I think that's it's, it's sort of soul destroying that is when you get to taste of first team football then you go back to the reserves you know it's it's no good so that was in my mind and I came back into pre-season and um, trained with the first team for a, for a couple of days and then there was a group of us put back to to the reserves and you know that was a big no-no for me so I, I sort of nipped it in the bud early. Knock on the door? Knock on the door yeah and said listen um, you know what's the, what's the story here and I just need to know. Are you packing yourself when you're getting ready to do that? Well to be honest when I was actually with a uh, when I when I go in, if I'm going in to see someone, if I'm going in to see a manager when I was younger anyway, I'd actually the night before I'd sit there with a pen and paper and, and think about what I'm gonna say. Right. Because before I've done it when I was like younger, say just with a coach, I'd I'd sort of sit there and I'd because I was young I'd sort of freeze a little bit and I'd um I'd forget what I'd what I was gonna mm -hmm. say. But then going in to see uh, uh Ferguson I I'd prepared myself and right. And I sort of said to myself, "You're going to sit in that seat until you have every, until you finish what you're going right. to say." So I, yeah, I was prepared going in and um, just asked the questions. And to be fair, at the time there was a, you know, Man United were a big power at the time, and yeah. and around my age group as well, there was like Johnny Evans, Jared PK, mm. and Ryan Shawcross, who have done all right for themselves. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I was. I, was, was the, I just went in to see what the crack was. What were the questions you were asking him? Like, what was the? Just about what the future? Am I going on the pre-season tour and stuff? Yeah. And he, he didn't know. And I was, I was like, well, that says it all, really. So I just, I have to, right. I have to, have to move, have to go because I had a year left of my contract. But I, I had to nip it in the bud early. He, he, he said, that, you know, you're, I think you're making a hasty decision. But I said, I've been thinking about it for a long time, to be honest. Yeah. So I just want to crack on my career now. And he wasn't giving you any hope of, listen, stick with us for a little bit. Because, I mean, you mentioned some of the players that were there. Obviously, it was a pretty yeah. fruitful time for them defensively. And I'm sure you're saying, listen, I'm, I'm as good as this guy, I'm sure. But, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah, because you, yeah, you you've got, you think you've got to back yourself, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was just, I just wanted to crack on. Uh, he just, he was sort of saying, you know, as he said, you, I think you're making a hasty decision or whatever, but... I just I had in my mind that I didn't want to end up sort of on the scrap heap in the reserves and yeah. um I was desperate then to make it to make a career for myself and just to just to get playing senior football. Because there is that story and it's completely fictitious that Fergie tells about you challenging PK to a race. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's that's gone around that yeah, that that's I think Tom Heaton started that, I think. <laughs> he was my he was in my digs at the at the time and and I don't know where that started from. It was like the Fergie himself sort of. I don't know. It was no, I don't. I don't, I don't think. I, well, I don't think it was Fergie, but it was. Uh, yeah, we sort of con um, compared. You know, he was. I think. I think Fergie might have said that. You know, PK. He's a. Uh, his. I don't know. His. his I know because I think you was saying about me that because initially it was my height wasn't I, I wasn't uh, big enough to to be a centre back, but then I went on loan to the championship and. Uh, height wasn't a problem, mm. and then it was like uh, half a yard of pace, um, and then he, he he compared PK, and I think I basically said, well he's he's not the quickest, you know what I mean, and then it just developed from there, and right. then it was all of a sudden then I offered PK out a race in the car <laughs> park, and that yeah that's totally yeah. Yeah, fabricated. You were going out to mark up the pitch and uh, yeah 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 I was like right you ready? <laughs> no, Would you taking him? 
I want it done actually. Yeah, got my arm across. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that extra well, yard. 